Email apps. Not all are built the same. Some are better than others. Today, I'm going to show you the best email app, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, free or paid, so you can decide which one works best for you. So first up, in general, these are just the top three, in no particular order, best email apps that you can use, whether they're free or paid. First up is Gmail, just based on its versatility. Gmail allows you to not only use its email app feature on your phone, but you can also access other tools and features from Gmail through your email mobile app. Second would be Microsoft Office, simply because it's great for business. It has just enough features for you to get things done, send attachments, and go through file and label your emails. Third is Dispatch. If you get emails in a lot of volumes, Dispatch has a mobile friendly app that you can use to go through your emails, check them, send them, and even send a few encrypted emails as well. And last but not least is Proton. Proton allows you to securely send email from one person to the next, as well as managing it with its really easy to use, user-friendly mobile app. So these apps are great, but what if you're somebody who needs really tight security? Well, I found the best email apps that have top tier security features, whether you're using it on the desktop or mobile version. So first up, when it comes to email security or the best email apps that have security is Proton Mail. And I mentioned this app earlier because it has a zero knowledge, zero access policy and principle when it comes to their email servers and their staff. No one can access, read or share your data or information, which is really good because it's not only encrypted in your server, but it's also encrypted through their server as well. So whatever you're sending gets the privacy it deserves. Next up is Tutanota. This is one of the best secure email apps out there. Why? Because it has two-factor authorization. It has an A plus SSL certificate. It has end-to-end -end encryption, and it also does a lot of extreme audits on its server and an open source tool. So you know that you're getting the top tier secure email provider out there. Next up is Postio. Now what's really good about Postio is that it has a Dane feature, which means that it doesn't allow their customers to provide certain customer information that allows hackers to impersonate them. So much so that they refuse to collect client data that they often face routine legal battles of people asking them to collect it because they refuse to do it. So if you want to work with an email app that really takes your personal information seriously, Postesto is definitely the option for you. Let's say that you have an Android. We actually found three really good email apps. Number one, again, email, I know but it's very versatile, it's really easy. The only con with this app is it's redesigned really often. So as soon as you get over the learning curve of their new design and interface, they kind of decide to redesign it every year or so. Mm. Next up is Outlook. Outlook is really good, again, for business. It also has the same features that you would have with your desktop version, with the mobile version. Sometimes you're limited to the attachment that you're adding to on phone and sometimes it makes it hard for you to know if the attachment is added. There are a few bugs there sometimes, I'm sure that they're working it out right now, but that's the only con that I can find with it so far. The difference between Outlook and Gmail, really based on if you're an Android user, is just your preference on what type of interface you want to use. Last is Aquamail. Now, Aquamail is a really great Android app. It has a lot of additional features that you would get with Gmail or Outlook. It also has up-to-date authorization process. The only con with this feature is it it's a little bit more expensive than the free alternative like Gmail and Outlook. So let's say you have an iPhone. Here are some of the best email apps for iPhone users. So first up is Apple Mail, of course, Apple Mail, because it comes with your phone and it's much more integrated with your Apple features than 
Gmail or Outlook or any other Android friendly email app. The only downside is that it doesn't have as much flexibility or features and sometimes the interface can feel a little bit clunky. Number two is Gmail. Sometimes the storage can be a problem and again the other con is the redesign. Last is Spark. Spark is the new kid on the block. They're a really great email app that you can choose. So helps you to integrate and find things so you have flexibility and you don't have a big of a learning curve as other email apps. But the only downside to this app is that its end-to-end -end encryption or P2P encryption is not as up-to-date as other email apps. So if security is a feature for you, definitely think you should consider that if you're using Spark. So those are the best email apps in general, best email apps for security, best email apps for iPhones and Androids. You can decide which one works best for you. So that's it for today's episode. If you guys like this video or found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And we do videos every week helping you with your email productivity, as well as tips and tools so that you can work smart and not hard. So I'll see you guys next week.